Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sharos Khan. I'm a scientist at uh, Kite uh, Research Institute, University Health Network, uh, Canada, and also an assistant professor at the Biomedical Engineering Institute, uh, University of Toronto. And today I, um, um, uh, I have Dr. Ali Abdi, who's a postdoctoral researcher in our team, and we are very excited uh, um, to discuss our um, uh, paper on predatory split learning on distributed sequential data. So as, as you know that in conventional machine learning algorithms, models are usually developed in a centralized setting. That is the data generated by local clients are firstly aggregated into a server or PC, and then the training is performed on the server or the PC. However, the client's personal data is privacy sensitive and uh, can be large in a quantity. For example, the healthcare data or the video data, which disqualifies centralized uh, machine learning methods from sending local data to the server. Now, federated learning and split learning are distributed collaborative machine learning techniques that decouple model training from the need for direct access to the raw data of clients. I'm going to tell you a little bit about different types of data that are available. So, for, uh, so first is the horizontal data. Uh, uh, in horizontal data distribution, different clients contain unique training uh, samples with unique sample IDs. There are not different versions of one uh, sample ID in different clients. Different training samples on different clients are represented by the same feature. Then we have vertical uh, distributed data in which different clients contain different versions of the same training samples with the same sample IDs, but represented by different features. And then uh, we have sequential uh, distributed data in which the training samples are sequences. So for example, from time, uh, time uh, step one to time stamp n with multiple segments. Now these multiple segment uh, sequential data are distributed across clients. Now, consecutive segments of training sequences are distributed across different clients. And consecutive segments of training sequences are generated and are available uh, on different clients. Now, to give you an example um, of sequential uh, partition data, suppose one patient is consecutively admitted to two different hospitals, each recording sequential vital signs of the patient, for example, heart rate. In this case, the heart rate of the patient is sequentially distributed across two hospitals, or in our case, two clients. This multiple segment sequential data can be used to train uh, machine learning models to predict, for example, uh, mortality of, uh, of a patient. Sorry, the existing federated learning and split learning approaches work on horizontally or vertically partitioned data and cannot handle sequentially partitioned data where segments of multiple segment sequential data are distributed across clients. To overcome these limitations, we present uh, a novel federated split learning framework, we call it as FedSL, to train models on distributed sequential data. The most common machine learning model to train on sequential data are, uh, as we know, recurrent neural networks. Since the proposed framework is uh, privacy uh, preserving, uh, segments of multiple segment sequential data cannot be shared uh, between clients or uh, between clients and the server. To circumvent, this, uh, to circumvent this limitation, we propose a novel split learning approach tailored for a recurrent neural network. And we integrate, uh, therefore we integrate uh, split learning in recurrent neural networks with a federated learning uh, kind of uh, framework. So in uh, FedSL, none, none of the data or label or complete model parameters are shared between clients or between clients and server. Only split subnetworks are shared between client and between client, um, clients and server. Now to give you more detail, I invite um, Dr. Ali to present the uh, uh, rest of the presentation. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Charles. Uh, here uh, again, we are seeing a multiple segment sequential data XJ. XJ contains uh, two segments. XJSK is the segment S available at client K. 
XJS plus one O is the segment S plus one available at client O. We are going to train a recurrent neural network using this multiple segment sequential data. It is the unfolded version of a recurrent neural network. Uh, each hidden state of uh, this uh, recurrent neural network is responsible for a one uh, time step of training sequence XJ. Uh, one segment of XJ is available at client K and another segment of XJ is available at client O. And we are not allowed to uh, share segments uh, between uh, clients. So we split recurrent neural network from the dashed line. Uh, and we call uh, this layer the split layer. In this way, we have two subnetworks. The left side subnetwork uh, is at client K and the right side subnetwork is at client L. The left side subnetwork at client uh, K uh, using XJSK uh, performs forward propagation and sends the activations of hidden state uh, to client O. Uh, client O having its uh, own uh, local training segment and also having label performs forward propagation uh, and backward propagation and sends the gradient of loss with respect to the activations of hidden states uh, to the client K. Client K uh, performs backward propagation and in this way uh, both subnetworks uh, perform uh, forward and backward propagation uh, and update their weights uh, using uh, their local training segments without sharing segments between each other. After explaining uh, split learning in recurrent neural network, uh, now we uh, introduce uh, our overall fr framework, which is federated split learning. It's a combination of uh, federated learning and split learning in recurrent neural network. The process starts from server. Uh, server initializes uh, global subnetworks and sends the initialized global subnetworks to all clients. Again, we consider cl uh, clients K and L containing two consecutive segments of uh, a multiple segment sequential data. Client K, uh, K uh, starting from uh, the received initialized subnetwork, performs forward propagation and sends activations of a split layers uh, to client L. Client L performs forward and backward propagations and sends the gradient of loss to client K. Uh, client K performs backward propagation. Uh, and in this way, client K and L by communication with each other update their weights uh, and update uh, their, uh, their subnetworks. And all clients after updating their subnetworks locally uh, send uh, the locally updated subnetworks to the server. Server aggregates uh, all locally updated subnetworks uh, to generate uh, global uh, aggregated subnetworks and server sends global aggregated subnetworks to all clients. And this process continues until convergence and until uh, clients have new multiple segment sequential data. Here we can see uh, the results of uh, applying the proposed method uh, to non-IID uh, sequential MNIST data set for training identity recurrent neural network. Uh, we compared uh, the proposed federated split learning with uh, federated averaging with segment sharing. Uh, the federated averaging uh, uh, method cannot handle multiple segment sequential data uh, and the segment uh, the segments should be shared between clients. As we can see here, uh, the proposed method successfully trained model on multiple segment sequential data uh, without segment sharing and achieves higher test accuracy in fewer rounds of communications. Here we can see the results of applying the proposed method uh, to non-IID uh, EICU data set for training LSTM recurrent neural network. <clears throat> uh, EICU data set uh, is a real world uh, multi-center electronic health record data set. Uh, as we can see the proposed federated split learning framework uh, successfully trained models on multiple segment sequential data uh, without uh, segment sharing. 
So um, as we saw, federated split learning successfully trained recurrent neural networks on multiple segment sequential data. Uh, and compared to the previous methods, splitting uh, recurrent neural networks in federated split learning method results in a speed up in convergence and enhanced privacy. And these are the links uh, to our paper and uh, the link to the codes of implementation of our paper. Thank you so much.